The smell of your perfume is floating down the stairs. You're fixing up your hair like you do. I know that I'll be a mess the second that I see you. You won't be surprised. It happens every time. It's nothing new. It's always on a night like tonight. I think that you can read my mind. 'Cause when you look at me with those eyes, oh, I'm speechless. Staring at you, staring at me, matches. What is doing to me ain't a secret. 'Cause watching you is all that I can do. And I'm speechless. You already know that you're my weakness. After all this time, I'm just as nervous. Every time you walk into the room, oh, I'm speechless. I want to welcome everyone. David and Laura have chosen you, those special and important to them, to witness and celebrate the beginning of their life together. Today, as we celebrate this marriage, we also create a new bond. And a new sense of family, one that will undoubtedly include all of you that are here today. Of course, we all know that true marriage begins well before the wedding day, and the efforts of marriage continue well beyond the ceremony's end. It only takes a brief moment in time and the stroke of a pen to make a marriage legal, but it takes a lifetime of love, commitment, and compromise to make a marriage durable and everlasting. Today, you declare your commitment to each other before family and friends. Your yesterdays were your path to this moment, and your journey to your future together. And that will become a little clearer each and every day. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for this day, and we thank you for bringing everyone here today to celebrate in the joining of David and Laura and their families together here today. We pray that you just lay your hand of blessing upon this marriage, and it continues forever and ever. Amen. Now, understand that you both have vows that you have written for each other that you will share together. shared work on your way out of the gym, but a completely different day of that than the one we originally talked about. Finally, a kiss. From that moment on, I knew I never wanted to stop talking with you, dating you, kissing you. You have shown me love, grace, and kindness that I've never experienced before. I look forward to enjoying for the rest of my life. It took me a while to really figure out what I wanted to say in my vows. How do I appropriately express my love for you in the approximately 1.5 minutes that we've allotted for each other to do this? Then I remember the greatest vows ever written that are found in 1 Corinthians 13, verses 4 through 7. Lord, I vow to be patient and kind. I vow not to be envious of you or boastful of myself. Let's not be very into you. I vow to not insist on my own way except when I'm right. To not be irritable after I've had my morning coffee, and to never be resentful. I vow to bear all things with you, believe all things with you, hope all things with you, and endure all things with you. Proverbs eighteen twenty two says, "He who finds a good wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord." I can say with certainty that I have found a very good thing and am blessed highly for that. I love you and I vow to choose to love you until the day I die. My corpse is placed in a boat, set out to sail, and that boat will on fire by a friendly hero. I want the Viking funeral, it's on my hands. And I can honestly say, with absolute certainty, from God and everybody, that a lifestyle of going to the gym on a regular basis can really change a person's life.
David. I thought I knew what God was. I was wrong. It wasn't until I found God again that he showed me what true love really is. What it was supposed to have been all along. He knew my heart, and he knew what I needed, what I was looking for, even though I wasn't actually looking for him. You. You are my gift from God because he loved me, he gave me you. He gave me our family. He gave me everything I ever wanted. You are my perfect fit. You are my missing jigsaw puzzle piece. You are my everything. I can't promise you to have something hard with me. But for whatever Protect my king, and I will always be. No matter what life comes, what, no matter what comes, I will stand united with you. I trust you to lead our family by God's word, and I promise to honor, respect, and support you as you lead us. I will always be your biggest fan. Hashtag team you. <laughs> your faithful partner and your spotter. You're my forever living name. I'm loving you in the last days. There's not any words that I can say that'll top the battles that you share with each other. But I'll take the scripture from Ruth 1, 16-17. Baruch said, Do not urge me to leave you or to return from following you. For where you go, I will go, and where you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people, and your God, my God. Where you die, I will die, and there will I be buried. May the Lord do so to me, and more also if anything but death parts me from you. You have rings for each other? From the earliest of times, the circle has been a symbol of completeness, a symbol of commitment and of love. An unbroken and never-ending circle symbolizes the commitment of love that is also never-ending. As often as either of you look at this symbol that you're each giving to each other, I hope that you will be reminded of the commitment to love each other that you have made here today. David, as you place this ring on Laura's finger, repeat after me. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love and of my faithfulness. As I give to you all that I am and accept from you all that you are. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love and faithfulness. As I give to you all that I am and accept from you all that you are. Let's pray. Today, as your two hearts unite, may God enter into your holy union and consecrate this love that brings you here today. And that you'll always remember the qualities that attracted you to each other when you first met, and how you felt as your feelings of attraction turned to respect, admiration, and finally love. That you will work hard to turn your feelings of love into acts of love, so that nothing and no one can divide you. That you will always have kind and loving hearts that are quick to ask for forgiveness especially when you are wrong, and will also forgive when your partner is wrong. That your love might grow to bear all things, believe all things, hope for all things, and endure all things. I pray.
pray that you place your marriage in God's hands and that your love increases and overflows beyond anything that you can yet imagine. And I ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. And now, by the power of us that me, by the great state of Arkansas, I hereby pronounce you husband and wife, baby, and make kiss your bride. Just let him in my dress What he's doing to me in a secret This watching you is all that I can do And I hey, friends. It is now my great pleasure to to you for the first time Mr. and Mrs. David Gates <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. David Gang. They are now going to have their first dance.
just let him in on my dress. What he's doing to me ain't a secret. Cause watching you is all that I can do. And I speak less. You already know that you're my weakness. After all this time, I'm just as nervous. Every time you walk into the room, I'm speechless.